Hello, welcome to Cool to Craft. Thank you. Thank We're you. So delighted to have you here today. I got a preview copy of Amy's book, and it's been on my desk. And every free moment I have, it's like I want to thumb through this. Mm. Look at this. Thank you. Is this not the coolest? Vintage notion. So give us a brief synopsis because I do have some pages. Okay, I'm going to great. show oh, perfect. Some, perfect. some images. So tell us what Vintage Notions is all about. Well, Vintage Notions um, is a story of a women's institute, but more than that, it's an inspirational book of material, sewing, needlework, cookery, fashion. And I had discovered this institute from the 1920s that Mary Brooks Pickin founded. Um, she was actually went on to write the singer sewing book. Oh, um, yes. I did not know that. And that book sold. I need to read this. <laughs> Eight million copies in its lifetime. Eight yes. Okay. So she had a very successful program, and I became inspired by her writing, and that led me to put we introduce this material. Mm -hmm. It was so timeless and just so relevant for a modern woman. I thought, what a great opportunity. I had been in publishing with Indigo Junction doing patterns and also the vintage workshop with vintage artwork. So okay. that kind of brought it all together for me. Mm -hmm. and this book was a culmination of both those businesses. So it was really exciting. So on the cover, it's an inspirational guide to needlework, cooking, sewing, fashion, and fun. Lots of fun. <laughs> so let's take a little tour. And I'm gonna bring up uh, pages eight in line first. Is that easy for okay, you to follow yep, along that here? that would be perfect. Okay, so we're gonna bring this down and because I only have my page number, so okay, when I you can see tell it, you, you I can tell us what it is. Yes, this is a picture of Mary. And then over in the right-hand corner, you can see the material that was part of the Institute's program. There were in newsletters, inspiration and fashion service. There was also tools and then booklets. So women would correspond through the mail with the Institute. There were 300 teachers there, and they would send in their coursework and then um, have a supervisor or a teacher work back and forth, actually sampling back and forth fabric samples. I have some of those in my collection. So it's, it's very, very interesting to learn about this, this successful school. So there's the introduction. Now we're moving in a little bit deeper into the book here. Yes, and this shows you some of the cookery. So the book is not only uh, sewing and needlework. It really is a fully developed domestic arts book, and it's organized month by month. So this is the January chapter, and it gives instructions for soups and stocks and a, a few fun recipes. All right, so also moving along here. I just love this book. Well, it's just, it's so heartwarming. It's just, and, and the history of what women have been doing. Well, what you come to, what I've come to realize is that the same challenges that we have today fall, have fallen upon our vintage sisters. So it's fun to, to, to just get in touch and, um, and share inspiration that maybe our mothers or grandmothers that had been inspired by. And this particular project is one of my favorites. Um, it's taking a man's dress shirt and converting it into an apron. Um, so there are three different projects, but it totally, uh, I was talking to my husband about emailing his friends so we could, um, you know, if they were cleaning out their closets for spring, could, yeah. they, could they save their, their shirts for me? Um, so we'll see if I get home and find any of those. <laughs> yeah, I love that idea. Well, it's so practical. And I mean, think of the thousands of shirts out there. This is an example of the housekeeping department. Each chapter is divided by departments as well as it, into the each month. And this shows you just a fun table decoration, uh, a little orange made into a basket. So again, just using this book as a daily inspiration for ideas to be creative in your own life beyond the needle and thread and just in, in enjoying beauty in your home is a big part of it. Is this book available now on, on Amazon yet? It is. Okay, it is. so we have some comments in the chat room. It's like, I want this book. And so it is available. Yes. Vintage it's... Notions by Amy Berkman right. on Amazon. And it is, we self-publish this book, so it is available on amyberkman.com. Well, too. we're going to put that in here. Yeah. So, okay. We, because we want and there to are, support you. Well, thank you. There are some there's some fun history on on the website as well as other pages for people to preview. So, so you're going to get the whole essence of it if you go to amyberryman.com. Exactly. You're exactly. just running off to buy it. Exactly. Okay. Well, we have built a community of around really inspiring people with the blog and things like that. So it's fun to hear from people and hear yes. hear about their connections with vintage as well. 
this was a monogram page, which again, it's something so timeless and classic that people are still today, particularly out in um, the home decor, you're seeing a lot of monogramming. So this gives you just the kind of the etiquette of monogramming and some interesting historical information. That's what I like is getting into the depth of the history of all of this, because there's so many things we take for granted and you don't realize where did they come from? What's the history? Right. What is the etiquette behind exactly. them? Exactly. And it, it, this book makes you appreciate the modern conveniences too. Um, this page is bias tape. And so we've incorporated some projects here and there are many apron patterns in the book that use bias but you can see just using details with bias and there's so many tools out today for convenience in making different sewing techniques but I just all of the illustrations spoke to me particularly the fashion illustrations and again classic design that we can you know be inspired by for today and this is the gloss we stitches so with embroidery just going gangbusters these days, I love the idea of just incorporating some of these stitches as a resource in the back of the book. Um, there's also um, a magic pattern notes. Each chapter has a pattern. And so in the back, we've provided some notes that help people understand some of the vintage language and some of the challenge that may be there for, for instance, fabric used to be 36 inches wide. And so we converted the yardage to 45. So making it really convenient. There are some of the details that yeah. we forget yeah. about. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Do we want to do some close-ups on these? Do you oh, want me sure. To the camera sure. over here? We have some tabletop that I want to show you. These are examples of the actual correspondence course booklets that the Institute published back in between 1916 and about 1935. And Mary Brooks Picken, who I mentioned earlier, authored these. This is a little wonderful apron book. And then this is a later edition, and you can see they built this beautiful school in Scranton, Pennsylvania. And this is another one that was on dresses. So there's just so much inspiration that the Institute provided. And this is an actual sample. I thought I'd bring another magic pattern to share with you. This is a little magic summer purse in one of the June or July chapter. And again, I love the little detail of the bias trim. But today with so many new fabrics out there, it's so inspiring to sew again. I think that's, for me, being in the business for many years, just this new energy in sewing and fashion is so exciting. I was a non-stop sewer in my teens, and I have totally jumped back into fabrics and sewing recently. So it brings back all the wonderful memories and feeling I had of creating with fabric. So oh, that's exciting. It's that's what's so great to to bring in the history of all of this, bring it into the new fabrics, the new trims, the all of the ways that today's creative women can express herself. It, it's very exciting. Mm -hmm. It is. All right. So we're gonna come back quick on to our face cam here. And just once again, this is Amy Berrickman's book. It's Vintage Notions, available at amyberrickman.com. Go there to purchase this book because you're going to get a lot more information and chat and posts and more than you would if you went to some other shopping site. Well, thank you, <laughs> Tiffany. Uh, we can always use the extra traffic, so I appreciate that.